Hey guys, it's Lucas again, and welcome back to the web programming series here on my channel. So now we will have a look at the anatomy of a website, so in general HTML, and I guess you have never seen that before. Well, in the last video a bit, but you couldn't read it if you have never taken a look at HTML before. Okay, so how do we get started to actually write our own code and understand the anatomy of a website? We want to use Atom. And for this, we want to create a new folder where we will store our files of a website. So we call this folder first website. But wait, we can't do this. Why, you may ask? Well, maybe you've seen that when you, when you view a website and you have the URL, uh, after a slash, you have that lower case and sometimes you see these underscores meaning there's actually a space. And this is common practice to do it like this, and you should never use a space because you can't actually view your file then. So if you really want to have a space here, we write this first website. We call this folder like it, and we will upload it later to our website. Okay, let's take it and drag it into our program for coding. So in this case, Adam. And now you see something new. We haven't had that before. We have a folder here for this website. Okay, cool. So let's right click and create a new file. Or you can click here and do a new file. But we want to do it here because this is faster. So we call this file index.html. So the .html actually tells you this is an HTML file. So this is pretty obvious, but it does, well, it tells us this is an HTML file, <laughs> as said before. And index just means this is the first page. So the page that loads if you view a website like mine, lucasam.com, you don't have to put index.html after the slash, it will load it up automatically. If you have PHP, I will tell you what that is in another video. Well, you will just have index.php, but it will load up automatically as well. So let's create this file and Congratulations, we've just created our first file ever. And we want to tell the browser, so the program that actually views our website, that this is an HTML file and nothing else. To get started with this, we want to know how to do that. We use tags in HTML, like hat, and close these tags again. So we tell, you see that by the exclamation mark, doc type. You can actually say what this means. Doc type means document type and HTML. So now our browser knows this is an HTML file and nothing else. Okay, pretty easy, right? You just have to remember that or copy and paste it every time. Most of the time, when it gets more complex, you will not take care too much of, well, writing this basic anatomy that we will see now. You will probably just copy and paste it and work from that point on. So, the first tag that we need is the hat tag. And always when you have tags, you have to close them again. Hat. Okay. Pretty cool, right? But what can you do in here? Well, you open this and you close them. And in between, you can write some code. What do you normally put in the hat? Well, you can do some things. For now, we will give this website a title. How do we do this? Well, you may have got an idea. We have these tags and we want to have a title. Yeah, now it should have been obvious, right? It is title and then we close it again. And in here we can write what we really want to have as a title. First website of Lucas. Well, that's not really true. I just call it first website because I have my first website a long time ago but not so long ago. Okay, this is pretty cool. We don't need to do more things in here, but I can tell you there will be more really soon. Nice. But you may ask, how did I do this here? If it did not do that automatically? Well, just hit tap and you do that. But wait, we have something missing. This is an HTML file and nothing else. And we actually told the browser this is HTML, but we also need to uh, say that this is actually generally HTML. So we do this. 
we have to include everything in HTML tags. That is normal. And the cool thing about Atom is that when you forgot to add something, and that is why I show you like this, you can just select all the code that you want to have in there. And always when there is code inside other tags, you want to actually have them tapped to one uh, one more tab in there. So select everything and hit tab. And there you go. This looks nicer and is easier to read. And trust me, you will be pretty cool if you do that. No, not just cool, but it's easier to read for not just you, but other developers or developers or other people who do not, who are not really programmers, sorry. Okay, now that we are here, we want to actually write code that we see on our website. But let's check how this actually looks like to the user so far. And next on HTML, I use Firefox and you can see there is nothing in here. Why? Well, we have not really written anything yet, but we have a title that we actually just set. First website, so we have that. This is cool. So now we want to have a body. This is where you actually write your code in. And now we can get started. Body and hat tags are normal tags. And then we have a tag called footer. But we don't really need this today anymore. You probably don't really use it generally. You can call it food or foo, uh, footer. I don't really think there is a common practice to use this anymore. No page really uses that. Okay, that is cool. And now we know what a website actually looks like generally. We have the doc type HTML as a revision that tells the browser that this is HTML. And in the HTML tags, we contain our general code, including the head and the body, while the body is actually where everything is shown in or actually where a code is that will be displayed on our screen. And the title tags will be used inside the head tags to actually give our website a nice tag, a title, sorry. And this is actually what you need for now. And I hope you understand this since this is actually the real basic. If you don't, just ask something in the comments below that you don't understand and I will help you as much as possible. So have a good day, guys.